Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am just about to finish getting ready for my day. I'm going to do my hair and I figured I could film it because I have been so bad at getting any filming done for a while. And it's quite simply because I have been on such a slippery slope with my wardrobe that I just haven't been able to create the same stuff that I used to. But we've already talked about all of that in my past two videos. So I already know that most of you are willing to and ready to just accept it and move on. And so should I. So I'm gonna do my hair and then I just figured we could have like a little, a little chat about everything. Also just gonna update you about my wardrobe because the last time we talked, you know, I hadn't really bought anything for a while because of like my, yeah, just, I just hadn't. And now the pendulum has swung to the other end, to the other extreme, I'd say. I mean, extreme as far as my wardrobe goes. Wow, what just happened there? Wow, that is crazy. I recently bought the, I don't know how to say it, but the Kiostasia products. I'm using like the conditioner and the hair mask as well from the, for like the, the dry and damaged hair. And oh my God, my hair has never felt that smooth before. It's like instant. As soon as I rinse it out, it really is like a, a world to different. Like it's, it's so much better than any other product I've tried from any other brand. So I totally understand the hype. But like, it also means that my hair doesn't curl that well when I've used it because my hair is so slippery. But anyway, it's still like a cute look with just a little bit of, oh, a little bit of curl in the end. So uh, I was on a bender where I didn't track what I wore for about like two, three months. And I have gone back and like added some things that I was wearing that I could see like in my camera roll and stuff like that. But I am happy to announce that that bender is officially over. I have gotten back into tracking 100% because you know I've been doing that for almost three years every single day or actually now it's been three years except for those like uh, a couple months breaks and of course it's a little bit of a shame because now some of the data um, on some of my pieces will be a little bit skewed I've tried to make up for it but you know that's just life life happens and yeah I feel like I'm three years having two months where I had a little time out it just is what it is but yeah I really enjoy doing it so I'm back to doing it now I also enjoy making content around that speaking of all of that because you know when I first started one of the like main thing I I uh, had in mind was the Hermes Evelyn bag that I bought because back then I mean I knew I would wear it a ton of times but now I've had it for three years and I've worn it 315 times. I just checked before starting the video. It said 10 francs 31 cents of wear and in another 10 wears it will be on 10 francs per wear. So it's just wild to see now that it's been like a few years like some of the pieces that I have you really like it really it really 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 pays off now even for like luxury pieces like the most expensive piece I literally have of course wearing it another 10 times may take a little bit of a while because in the summer I don't really, really like to wear it it's a big you know black bag so it doesn't always look so good but also I want to um, look out for the leather don't want to scorch it in the sun but then every once in a while we'll have like a really rainy or like a really cloudy day and then i will wear it outside of that i had a little trip to denmark I actually had two so i have bought a couple of things quite a few things from another store so i'm gonna show you later later in the video and i actually don't know if i'm supposed to announce this but it's just rumors i've heard uh so many times i feel like at this point i could just say it but there's another there is an another store store sorry opening in Zurich at the end of this year <laughs> and like me and like my like my best Swedish friend here like we talk about it all the time like we're legitimately so excited and it's so silly because it's just close it's just a store they already have like the online store here in Zurich but my god I'm so excited and we're gonna make videos all the time like I'm just gonna go in there and like try things and like make a video out of it which I actually did in Copenhagen but then I just never finished the video because you know whatever <sighs> because I'm so flaky right now but I'm getting into it Getting back into it. And then, yeah, I also added a few things from Sarah. So, you know, get your pitchforks out. But yeah, I bought um, a linen shirt amongst other things. And I know I always say that I love the H&M linen shirt. Now I think I love the Sarah ones more. I bought one, which is, um, 
This is like a standard, slightly oversized white crisp linen shirt. Oh my god, it's so nice. But to be fair, it also hasn't been washed yet. I'm washing it for the first time right now. But it has this like little interesting twist where there's also buttons in the back of it. Which, you know, when, when other YouTubers, I feel like they talk about elevated basics. It's like a basic but with a twist. And I actually don't really enjoy that. I don't think it's that cool. But I guess, you know... Every rule has it, uh, its exception because I do actually kind of like it for this shirt. I guess I'm, I guess I'm convinced. So yeah, I bought that. What more did I buy? I bought a red dress. You know, looking back, I really it was on sale and it did look really good on me. It does look really good on me. But now that I have it, it's more like it's a proof of concept that I'm ready to wear red in summer. Which I mean, who who would have thought that day would come? Uh, but here it is. But the the dress is too sweet overall. It has this like the the top part is exactly what I have for other tops. I really like that. But the skirt part just makes it overly romantic. Like there's nothing sleek or yeah sleek or Scandinavian looking about it in that sense. So. It'll probably act as a proof of concept and then I might um, I might sell it at some point, not gonna lie. That is uh, a couple of things. I bought some more things, but I did make a list so that I can talk about it now. I'm just finishing up my hair. I also bought a, uh, a silver shampoo. Not that it's the first I've ever had, but I bought the one from Olaplex. And I don't like when my hair is super ashy. I do like it a little bit golden, but it just, it takes just a little bit of the, or it just cools it down a little bit, which I honestly think is a, is a slightly bit or look for me. So I'm not gonna overdo it or anything, but yeah, using that, using the Kyrostase, Kyrostase, no clue guys that one and my hair is just it's already so much better off which i mean right now i can tell that it looks a bit crazy on the back but um it is what it is most of what i wear uh in the summer is like i wear some of the yes yeah, summer dresses i have i have the black linen one from uh, and other stories uh, last year then i wear like a white linen shirt with like my denim uh with my denim shorts i'll wear the camel colored birkenstocks and then like probably my Ansoa tote. So I just wear a lot of the same stuff all the time. And then with the, the gold jewelry, it's just like, why do I need 600 different outfits? I really don't because three out of the days I would probably want to wear a crisp white linen shirt and then um, yeah, my denim shorts or one of my skirts. The earrings are the Hay Harbor ones, by the way. And I bought this yesterday, which is interesting because I almost never buy any new makeup, but I bought the Fenty lip gloss. I usually use the one from Chanel, but I was in a mood to try something else. It's almost not even cheaper, actually. It just makes such a difference to just have that slight shimmery wet look, I think, anyway. So yeah, I think that's it. I want to give you just like one last tip because I don't tan that well, so I help myself out with uh, self-tanning products. I also think it's healthier than staying that much in the sun anyway. And one thing that I use all summer, also did that last year, is the saint face tan water. And uh, I just, you, you literally just like spray it around your face a little bit. I do that a couple of times a week and then you have like such a nice even glow. And it's also really nice because I mean, I do use makeup on top of it, but not that much because having that little bit of like self-tan, it sort of like evens out the skin tone to begin with. So that's, wow, buy that one. I'm gonna link to it in the description below. And let's move on. Now it is actually indeed the next day, but I decided to film things today because now I have everything out of the washer. I can show you everything that I bought, including this top I'm wearing right now. But first I wanted to show a little update. I bought something that some of you guys have been telling me to do for so long. I officially, switched all of my aluminium hangers out with velvet ones. I got these off of Emerson and they're really skinny still, just like the, the aluminium ones, but they are so much sturdier. Obviously everything hangs like on a straight line now, which before with the aluminium hangers, it was such a mess. The clothes stay on these and it's much better for the clothing. I mean, all of those things that I can tell you now is things that you guys have already told me. So I'm definitely not taking credit for this decision, but this is what it looks like now. And it looks so good. I'm going to link to the ones that I'm using in the description below. So now we are getting into the what's new in my wardrobe part of this video and quite a lot of the things you can already see on me right now. One thing is this top but I am going to position the camera elsewhere for the 
clothing part. But right now, I just want to show the other things that I've bought. And the first thing is these sunglasses. These are the Prades. This is what they look like. They are very cool girl aesthetic, which is definitely a like sub style that I've been trying to shy away from for a while. But I also feel like I've really succeeded. And it is just something that there has to be a little bit of, of space for in my wardrobe. And this was really uh, tried and tested. Two of my best friends, actually three now of my best friends from Denmark, have these and for one of my friends I will always take her glasses when I'm back home and then I'll literally wear them the entire time that I'm there and I've done that a couple of times now so I feel like the proof of concept has been tested already. Uh, they come in black as one color and then they come in the brown. The brown has the gold on the side which is just you know I really want that and then on top of that I think brown is just like a softer look for my complexion and especially also for summer. So I went with these and what I love about them the most, which is also what prompted me to wish for new glasses since actually a couple of years ago, but especially since last year, is that usually I wear the round Ray-Bans and I absolutely love those. I think they are such a classic style and they go really well with everything in my wardrobe. However, there is just one slight uh, issue or challenge with them, which is that you can't really put them in the hair because, you know, the sort of like nose thingies will get stuck to the hair and it's really not a good look and I really love to have my sunglasses up in my hair or like my forehead like this and with these you really can and I absolutely like I love I love the look of them like this to a certain extent you know it looks nice it looks cool but 90% of the time my sunglasses are in my hair anyway and I think this looks so good with like the thick strap So I got them on a pretty significant sale So I'm going to link uh, to them in the description below And then there is also another new thing that I'm also wearing right now, which is that I am wearing the Katia uh, Love hoop earrings and this is also something that I had wished for for quite a while I sort of got the idea last year because you know, when I think of the things that I can wear over and over again, you know, I always try to get um, certain things in great quality, uh, such as, of course, you know, um, jewelry, but also such as pieces I wear all the time, you know, boots and coats. And there is something to be said for the fact that, like, now that I've gotten better into, like, realizing what holds up and what doesn't and, like, what lasts and what doesn't, you know, a white linen shirt at this point is something that I'm comfortable buying in H&M and in Zara because it is a white linen shirt. It's going to be able to get the wear that it will. But to a certain extent, it really is just a white linen shirt. It is... I don't know that I will ever buy something for like, you know, hundreds of francs, hoping that that will be of better quality because I'm going to wear it a lot out and about in the sun. It's not really something that I want to take care of. It's only going to look good for the time that it's going to look good because it is white. So that's one of the things where I've started to just change my position a little bit that... That's not something I ever want to spend a lot of money on, to be totally honest, where when it comes to jewelry, you know, all of the jewelry you see on me all the time, you have been seeing on me since like 2020, 21, the Hermes bracelet, even the Fitbit, and I'm not wearing my rings right now, but usually also the rings, the Love Rules Forever ring from Ansoa, and then of course the antique ring. Once I buy a piece of jewelry, you, I just wear it always and I had been you know I'm a little bit taken at this point which I always didn't always feel that way about the Katia bracelet uh, the love one of course and then also the ring but I feel like it's just something that everyone has and for me like a gold hoop earring I, like I literally wear that almost every single day so I thought that it was like a it was already a pair exactly this pair that I had been eyeing and I ended up getting them second hand and I'm quite pleased with them partly and then another part like because they are you know smaller and there's a lot of days where I want to wear my bigger hoop earrings so even though I have these I'll say that I only wear them like once every three or four days but that is what that is and I'm really happy with them but they're of course they are second hand so worst case I can always pass them on not that I think I ever want to do that but I always have that in the back of my mind basically so let's move on to the clothes as I already mentioned the first thing on this list is this top and it is definitely a warm toned slightly beige close to warm ish white uh, top with this you know cut that it has and then these navy stripes and it's just a look I really, really like. Uh, and it wasn't that expensive, so I did decide to get it, even though it's definitely a risk for me getting something that has any sort of like warm tone to it. But um, I think we've talked about this before last summer. Like once summer hits and I have just a little bit of a tan, 
I can definitely, even though I by far look the best in a crisp white, you will also see that when I put on the linen shirt in a moment, I still feel like it works. Uh, so yeah, I have actually worn this top like eight or nine times since I got it, like only a couple of weeks ago. So it definitely paid off and sometimes you just gotta like take a chance. I can't say much about the quality yet other than the fact that I have worn it eight, nine-ish times and it still looks like this. It looks really good. It's not really pilling yet, although I'm sure it will with more wash. But it is a viscose and nylon mix. So that's a lot better than, for example, when you get these like cotton and polyester mixes or something like that. So yeah, it's also really, really comfortable. Of course, I'm gonna link to that in the description. And then right here, I just paired it with my white skirt. And I think this is just, yeah, this is really cute for summer. And we will be moving on to this white linen shirt. This is the one from Sarah. Oh my God, it was amazing <laughs> before I washed it. Now, of course, it does feel a little bit different. Like they must process the, the fabric with something that just makes it feel so luxurious um, when it's still in store. So right now it is a little bit more crinkly, but I still feel it looks pretty good. I actually feel like it looks a little bit better than the H&M ones, uh, but that could also just be because it is a little bit longer and a little bit more oversized. But then, like I mentioned, it has these buttons in the back. You can actually button it up even more or of course like button it down and then tuck it in. But yeah, for now I just, you know, left it like this to show you guys. It's just a white linen shirt and it's Sarah and I'm really happy with it. It's holding up. And by the way, just notice compared to like what I just showed you before with the top, this just, it's so much more my color. Then next on the menu, regardless of all of the other things I've already shown you and that I have to show you, this is probably the thing that I don't know if I want to say I'm most excited about. Probably. <laughs> this is a perfect piece for me and whenever you find something like that, it just becomes like an instant rewear, or at least for me it does and with something like this. So this is a black skirt from Another Stories. So it is actually mainly polyester and then it is viscose, but it sort of, if you remember the navy skirt that I had from Messing With Duty, this sort of like A-line mini skirt with, that was navy and had two slits, it's almost as if my black part two skater skirt and the Messing With Duty skirt had a baby and they made this skirt. And I have been wearing it so many times since I bought it like five, six weeks ago. I just love it so much. It's so comfortable. It's so structured. I will say that, you know, I've worn it, I think like 15 times or something like that right now. Um, and of course it doesn't, it's not gonna substitute the black skirt that I already have. I will always have that one, but this is just a slightly different look. It also looks slightly better with something like a blazer on top of it than I felt like the skater skirt does. The only criticism I will give to the skirt is that the fabric is starting to heal just ever so slightly. And it's not that bad and it is something I can remove, but just knowing from like the other skirt that I have, the skater skirt from part two, from part two that I think I have literally worn it like 80 times at this point, it, you cannot tell that I've worn it. Like it literally has no signs of wear, no signs of wash. So I know that it's possible that fabric also made from polyester can look like that. So in that sense, that is a little bit disappointing, but yeah, still the, the, the wear I am gonna be able to get out of this skirt is definitely very, very high. It's just something that, you know, it's just if I'm nitpicking, that knowing that clothes can be made, made truly to last and then having something that shows sign of wear can be a little bit disappointing when you're used to higher quality clothes for the most part. So that's just something to note, but other than that, I think it is so pretty and it's such a good length for a mini skirt as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get a ton of joy and use out of this one. Then I just took my bra off for showing you guys both this top and a couple of dresses I've got coming up. So that is a really nice territory to be in that uh, you can just, yeah, wear it braless, or at least I do. And the first thing is this open back top from Sarah which I have already worn quite a, a lot of times. And with this skirt so far, I mean, obviously this is a really frisky, but still, in my opinion, sophisticated look. I absolutely love, like it is Sarah, um, but it is a linen mix. I actually already don't remember with what, and just because of the 
shape of the shirt already cut out the label so sorry about that but the fabric seems really luxurious of course I was, I've also worn it like three times the cut of the neck is definitely something that just suits me really well in my own opinion uh, that and the sweetheart neckline type of top is probably my favorite uh, it does also come in a warm white I did also try that one on but decided uh, that I I'm probably fine with just having it in black and then for example if I'm gonna wear it with jeans at some point you don't even have to tuck it in you can just leave it hanging like this like a piece of fabric and I just think that it is so gorgeous so sophisticated but still kind of daring so yeah definitely also really excited about pieces like that can be kind of nice then we have reached the red dress so this is what it looks like actually whenever i put it on like i look at myself i have the mirror right behind the camera and it does just look so good i really think it does like it's so cute i love the top i don't need to wear a bra in it i love this type of cutout i love this this type of sleeves i think for me it would have been even more ideal if maybe it was just a top and i could wear it with like my skirts and stuff like that which if I really want to I can definitely have that made but I'm still going over it in my mind because I do think it looks really nice but if nothing else it definitely serves as a proof of concept I'm probably fine if I want to add a few red things to my summer wardrobe I definitely feel like I'm I'm ready for that you know uh, accent type thing in my scheme which you know I think something that I really love and enjoy about my color scheme is that all of the colors are really go well together in harmony with each other and then of course you know I have these like colors that I still want to make work a little bit on the side like I have with the bright orange where sometimes you just gotta make an exception and I think red is about to like become my obsession to a certain extent this is 100% linen it is from another stories it was already on very significant sale when I found it so I'm going to link to the exact dress in the description below if it is still available on the site if not I'm going to try to find something similar but yeah this is just cute so this is the next item on the menu i feel like this is almost the exact opposite than what i've just shown you this is a lot more sleek where the other one is a lot more uh, romantic and this is a white dress from zara this is viscose it has like this really beautiful and nice open back and other than that it's a bodycon dress which is my second bodycon dress and it's definitely not a proof of concept. I'm not about to go out and buy like 10 bodycon dresses, but it is nice to have just a couple that I really like. And I think this is really, it's just really sophisticated and beautiful. I'm not wearing a bra right now, but going out and about, I would probably wear some nibble covers just to, you know, not <laughs> distract people. But this is what it looks like overall. And yeah, definitely. Just really happy with it this far but I did just buy it so I've only worn it once then I also have to show you guys this mini 100% linen dress from Andala stories that I also bought at the same time as the red dress so I think this is really beautiful it's really cute and in its own way it's sort of like summer sophisticated and easy it's definitely really comfortable it's a little bit cringy now of course because it is linen but also I've worn it a couple of times uh, and not steamed it but this is what it looks like unfortunately I actually haven't really reached for it at all since I got home aside from like a couple of times which is sort of interesting because when I look at myself in it I really think it looks really good but I just haven't reached for it above some of the other things that I have. It's really just that uh, it's really just that simple. It's also on in black on the website, and then I did decide to get it in white. I just think I would get more joy out of that. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys this is what it looks like. And again, braless. Then I'm just popping on this outfit really quickly to use it as a base to show you something else that I bought that I'm very excited about, and that is this denim trench coat so actually funny story i was in sarah buying the linen shirt and i saw this girl wearing this denim trench coat and a white summer dress underneath it she was wearing her Versace sunglasses like i am wearing my pada ones and i just looked at her and i'm like she looks so good so i told her wow you look so good like that trench coat 
is amazing and she was like I actually just bought it here a couple of weeks ago on sale so maybe if you're lucky they'll still have one and so I went home checked out online and then in the end I did like a few rounds in both of the stores here in Zurich to see if I can find it on sale because sometimes when the items are on sale they're not registered in the system anymore I did find this in my size and it was exactly the one that she had as well so I bought it and obviously you guys haven't known me since I was a teenager but when I was a teenager like later years I would just wear denim all the time and like I would literally be called out on it I had all of these interesting pieces in denim and I've since grown out of that but having like a trench coat in full denim wow I just think it is so cool it's also another really really strong proof of concept because obviously I don't need another trench coat, I already have one. I have this stone colored one from, from Burberry, but once you have something that is a strong proof of concept, it does start becoming nice to have something in that concept that you can alternate between. And for me, that is definitely this denim trench coat. Ugh, I think it is so cool. That is everything that's new in my wardrobe, actually. So now I'm just taking a moment with you guys in my kitchen. So obviously now we've had a little bit of a catch up. We're back on track-ish. I've showed you what's new in my wardrobe. I've showed you the bigger pieces that I've invested in. And yeah, it's just interesting now that everything I've learned is sort of like balancing itself out, like what I talked about with the linen shirt where, you know, back in time when I first really got into the whole concept, I would try to get everything that I could in the best quality that I could. And I think now that everything is like settling down, I'm just realizing that that's just not worth it for all of the things that I own. Like there are things that I'm just gonna have to like buy again. Another example is my white ulcers from Converse. I'm currently on my second pair and that's just what it's gonna be like. Like if I want white, white sneakers, you know, there's a good chance that if I buy the ones I want, I'm gonna have to buy a new pair every once in a while. Like some, t some things just aren't gonna last the same and that's okay. And then other things I just wear years on end, like almost every single day and then it starts it starts paying off more. So it's interesting to start to see that, you know, the rules that I have that used to be so fixed, now it's starting to become apparent where these rules are smart to apply and where maybe, you know, I can just like live my life and buy what I want more or less. So yeah, that is just my two cents on that. Now I'm gonna get ready to go have a drink with a girlfriend. It's quite warm outside, so I think I'll just show you what I end up in. So this is what I am going to wear for drinks with my friends. Keep in mind that it is still so hot right now and we're meeting for like a pre-dinner drink. It is literally like 29 degrees. So yeah, pretty warm. Just wearing the linen shirt I just showed you from Zara, the black skirt. Then I am wearing my camel colored Birkenstocks, but please don't look too long at my toes because I did not do my nails. And uh, then I'm wearing the Pauline bag, the camel colored one. Uh, just because I feel like it's a little bit more casual, you know, it's still like polished casual, but um, yeah, it's not like going out out because usually when I go out out, I will wear the YSL hobo bag. But yeah, when it's still like slightly, you know, it's an early drink, it's still gonna be bright outside. I do like to wear my camel colored accessories. So this is my jewelry setup. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a, a like so that I know and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!